All right, guys, we're going to be talking about CNN's Don Lemon. Now, guys, I should have actually made this video yesterday, but there's only so much time in the day. Uh, pretty busy yesterday, but I'm here now making this video because you guys probably have seen that viral clip out there of Don Lemon pretty much being left speechless when he did not get the answer that he actually was expecting when talking about reparations. Now, guys, this is the perfect way to shut down a leftist here when it comes to reparations. He was actually on with a um, a British historian, if I'm not mistaken. Her name is uh, Hillary uh, Fordwich, and she really did check him. He was not expecting his answer, folks, because uh, this all stings from uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, passing away. And um, a lot of leftists out there talking about colonialism and and that kind of thing. He believes now that um, King Charles III should actually actually be paying reparations now that he has now inherited all of this wealth, wealth from his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. But let's go ahead and check out this clip, guys, because, uh, you know what, before we do that, that kind of reminds me of the videos I'm actually I've actually been putting up on um, the Matrix and Roadshow about the woman king. Now, that is a Hollywood movie. And in, and in that Hollywood movie, they definitely try to soften the image of Africans role in the slave trade. Now, it was called a slave trade, not a slave steal. And all the hard work was actually being done by these Africans. They were getting very, very wealthy off of actually enslaving black people and trading them over to the Europeans. But here we go, guys. Let's check out this clip here. This is actually a uh, news match is a uh, YouTube channel here it says uh, Don Lamont schooled by Hillary for which on royal family reparations. Let's play it, guys. And then you have the, those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism. And they're wondering, you know, one hundred billion dollars, twenty four billion dollars here and there, five hundred million there. Some people want to be paid back and uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are, you know, you have all of this vast wealth? Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? That was in Africa. And when across the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. In, in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery. Why? Because the African kings were rounding up their own people. They had them on cages, waiting in the beaches. No one was running into Africa to get them. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely, that's where they should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. It's an interesting discussion, Hillary. Yeah. So that is Don Lamont right there. He's like, oh, that's an interesting discussion, Hillary. I guess he was kind of shot right there. I guess he really was. And guys, I highly recommend that you guys actually go and uh, check out Thomas Sowell because Thomas Sowell has really exposed a lot of lies out there about uh, slavery worldwide. Now, to the Americans, we think of uh, slavery because government has actually failed that um, it was white people enslaving black people and it was racially motivated. That was not the case. If you look at slavery, slavery was worldwide. China, Brazil, Native Americans actually enslaved um, each other. Nobody's asking uh, Native Americans to actually uh, pay reparations over here because even after the 13th Amendment passed, Native Americans still wanted to keep their black slaves. The U.S. government actually had to negotiate with them to end slavery with the Native Americans. Now, Thomas Sowell is very, very educational on um, slavery. Guys, did you know this in New Orleans doing slavery? One third of the black population, the free black population in New Orleans was slave owners in New Orleans. New Orleans. Should they be paying reparations as well? 
Now, I know we're talking about the UK here, but like I said, slavery was worldwide. Worldwide. This is the perfect way to shut down a leftist. You have to give them fats. Give them fats, you know, because uh, these people run off of emotion. Leftists run off of emotion, folks. That's why your AOCs always say something stupid. They don't know anything. They're not actually good legislators whatsoever. They run off of non-fats. Non-fats. Don Lamont, he probably felt good saying, you know what? Uh, they should pay reparations. The royal family should pay reparations. But he doesn't actually um, tell you that, hey, it was actually black Africans actually enslaving other Africans and then selling them to the Europeans. Doesn't tell you that. This thing was a whole engineering uh, method out there when it came to slavery. It wasn't white people actually going out there in the jungles of Africa. No, the Europeans stayed in the ports because they probably didn't really know how to navigate through uh, through like um, Benin or anywhere like that where the homie was. They didn't know that. They stayed at the ports and the Africans brought the slaves over there and did the slave trade, slave trade. And when the uh, and like she mentioned here, when the uh, British were actually ending the slave trade, those African kings, they continued because they were getting super duper rich off of it. They did not want to let go of slavery and they actually owned slaves themselves. This is how you check a leftist, folks. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.